this session of systemic hypertension as we all are aware that the systemic hypertension is one of the most common and very much uh, prevalent disease worldwide which is leading to increased cardiovascular morbidities as well as mortalities and uh, almost in every aspects of cardiovascular disease spectrum systemic hypertension is uh, known to increase the risk of such development of such disease therefore it is very much imperative to control your blood pressure to the targeted range that has been set aside by uh, different and several guidelines be it the european society be it the american college of cardiology or our own indian society of hypertension so it is very much understandable that why do we need to give so much importance to the control of blood pressure well, uh, to start with, uh, we have to know that how do we define systemic hypertension. So clearly now, and uh, there are differences in several guidelines, but so far it is concerned that an average blood pressure of 120 by 80 millimeter mercury is quite normal for a normal individuals. Therefore, to treat hypertension whenever they are going above it, like one more than 130 or more than 85 diastolic, then you need to intervene. First of all, the most important thing is the lifestyle modification that includes your uh, decreasing the dietary consumption of extra salt, regular aerobic exercise that is moderate to high intensity that depends on your underlying cardiovascular disease spectrum also. It is not mandatory for everyone that you have to go for 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise if you have any cardiovascular underlying disease. So it is always better to rule out any ischemic heart disease before uh, streaming into such kind of intensive exercise program but an aerobic uh, exercise which is of light to moderate intensity regular 30 minutes work that is very much important third important factor is to decreasing your uh, fat content that is obesity uh, then uh, controlling your associated comorbidities like diabetes mellitus dyslipidemia along with any other hypothyroidism any other comorbidities if you have but even after that, it has been found that a large number of patients requires pharmacological intervention that needs to be treated with anti-hypertensive medication. And nowadays, we do have a lot of medications which can perfectly control your blood pressure. You can achieve a targeted blood pressure without any significant side effects. And for that reason, you have to consult your uh, physicians, uh, the cardiologist for uh, how you can take your treatment to that level so that uh, the future mortalities, future fatalities can be prevented. Okay, so in the next session, I'll be discussing about in details about the lifestyle modification and dietary chart, an extensive program that depends on uh, uh, what is your body weight and the comorbidities. But so for now, till now, goodbye. Thank you.